Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market, you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and I'm here to talk about the changes that are coming into 26.0 patch. Uh, I will try to help you understand it a little bit better uh, than it was before and uh, give my thoughts and uh, some expertise on such matter. First change is daily missions now are easier, much easier to complete and experimental tokens available for finishing four daily missions have been replaced by balls. I will talk about bells a little bit later, so stay tuned and for 4 daily missions gives you 2 bells. Next change, experimentals, uh, now it will be possible to get some of the legendary event units, not all of them of course. Experimental coins and bells have been added to the season pass, event passes and much more places. The next change that I will talk about is events. Uh, now all event tokens have been merged into one universal tokens. Amount of tokens have been heavily reduced to 250 per event and for now no hot offers in the shop or uh, the legendary hero fragments offers for tokens. It might be added later but we have to wait and see. Now when you collect additional chests you have much higher chances to get additional event legendary or hero fragments. It's not a chest anymore, but individual rewards. Up to 3 legendary cards and up to 10 hero fragments. In event shop there is new event chest, where you can choose any legendary you want outside of the event. Chest for 999 gems still exists, the percentage chance might be increased, but we don't know that yet. And additionally, uh, with the decreased amount of tokens you get per event, event shop uh, offers you a legendary unit, an event legendary unit for 100 tokens. Next, and this one is a big one, uh, summoning, the new feature. Now it will not be possible to summon any event legendaries and every 7 days the faction will change. Every 30, 40 and 50 summons it is guaranteed to get a legendary you have chosen and it might or might not reset every season. We will see that, uh, have to wait and see. Bells are used to summon. They are possible to get from season pass, event passes and much more places and one bell equals one summon. You can also get bells from watching ads, from collecting basically when, when you have premium or buying it for gems, uh, platinum or real currents. Next one and also a big one, divisions. For each division allows you to get much more rewards at the end of the season. Additionally, by increasing your crit up to max 3000 crit, you will be able to collect rewards but once. Please don't mix these two rewards. You get rewards for leveling up your crit and also thanks to divisions you get extra rewards at the end of the season. For leveling up your crit, rewards uh, have two sides, free one and premium one. We don't know the cost of the premium one yet, uh, but yeah, we have to wait and see again. And now the changes that are coming into the PvP. Matchmaking now is based mostly on crit and then it will be based on trophies if enemy has not been found with similar crit. After each season end, you will go back to 4000 trophies every time. Another change is that the contender shop and champion shop have been merged into legend shop uh, whenever you reach 7000 trophies you will be able to contain all the rewards from such shop. Next change about the rewards for climbing pvp at leaks. Rewards for leaks in pvp have not been changed much but rewards for reaching certain trophies have been greatly increased and also bells for summoning have been included in those rewards. Rewards for climbing PvP of course ends at 9000 trophies as it was before, so anything above is just for a leaderboard. Another new feature which is Hammer. 
hammer now is possible to get in the legend shop which is the shop uh, when you reach 7000 trophies of course and it will decrease cooldown of hero's ability the hero the higher the heroic item the higher chance of upgrading and the higher upgrade by hammer the smaller chance of upgrading uh, I'm not entirely sure um, how much you can upgrade your heroic item uh, with the hammer um, but I know that it will definitely help out a lot of the decks uh, with decreasing cooldown of hero's ability. Next one is a little bit controversial change. Uh, some people were so worried that they thought that they are going to quit the game in patch 26.0 but hopefully and uh, now you will understand it a little bit better when I try to explain to you. Legendary unit upgrades. You need only copies of each legendary card to upgrade it. So from level 7 to level 8 you need 2 copies. From level 8 to 9 you need 4 copies. And so on so on it goes up by 2. So from level 14 to 15 you need 16 copies. Now you don't need crystals anymore to upgrade or anything else. Uh, additionally Archmage chest cost has been reduced to 750 gems, dust cost for exchange has not been reduced and shop offers the reset ones have, no, have been reworked but we don't know how yet, we have no info, wait and see. And now another worry of you, season pass. If you collect rewards for season pass before the update, you will not be able to get your rewards when the season pass updates with the patch 26.0. Now I'm talking about the pages of secrets, the rune, rune keys and etc that will disappear from the season pass. It will be replaced by other rewards such as chest of choice and other rewards that are uh, included in 26.0. Thus if you collect the rewards before the patch you will not be able to collect the rewards again after the patch. You will have to wait for next, next season. Now a little short info, challenge of sevens, of course spells have been added to the rewards to basically uh, um, more people play uh, and take a part of challenge of seven events. Another short info is that in Hero of Tavern uh, there is an option with more rewards uh, but we don't have any info about it yet, uh, potentially just additional rewards, maybe hammers, maybe other rewards, we don't know that yet. And last but not least, equipment changes. Now the equipment changes that uh, have effect on your opponent uh, will be beneficial from what faction units you play in your deck. For example, Amulet of Weakness have a stable effect of 30.5 attack speed reduction for your opponent, but now it will be plus 7.3 per faction unit in your deck, which means if you have Techno, Magic and Light unit, 3 units in your deck, then it will be 21.9. If you have 5 of those units, then multiply uh, 7.3 by 5. And uh, next change is Amulet of Growth. Now every wave it will go down by 2%. So it will not just go up to 60% and then you are over your amulet. You will have to merge on your amulet at least once per wave whenever you max it. Next change is Magic Amulet, now it will give you 33.6% for all faction and the same amount 33.6% per faction uh, unit. Next, the newest Amulet of Swiftness, uh, it will give 25% for all faction plus 25% per faction unit. How it works, basically merging in special tiles increases damage of all units on your board per 0.5%. Special tiles move moves when merged in it or at the end of the wave, so it is easier to stack it. Armor changes, now the faction part will up be applied thanks to how many units in your deck have such faction that is in your armor. The effect from armor on enemy will be on all units equally. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, it's been a pleasure explaining you the changes that are coming into 26.0 patch, uh, hopefully now you will understand it much better and if you are not subscribed please do it, uh, you can like and comment the videos, uh, it will help me greatly and of course if you want to follow me live uh, on Twitch you can go there and hit the follow button, it will help me as well. Hey there!
Thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.